we just need to take care of a few things. So here in our use effect, we have our, our fetch directions and we need these coordinates. So if you don't have it, this cause coordinates was initially in in our hook. So you just need to cut it from here and then you need to paste it inside of our of our map. Okay. And we're going to pass coordinates. We're going to pass encoded polylines to to this function that we just pasted here and then we get our coordinates. Our coordinates we're going to set them here and then we're going to get them from our state variable. Okay. So that's all that we need to do. So here we need to focus on on markers. Okay. So in order for us to have markers, what we need to do, we need to import markers. We need to import a marker from from React Native Maps. Okay. After we import the marker, we're going to have a title and the coordinates. So our first one is the current location of a user. That's user current location. So we're going to map the coordinate to a map region. Okay. Because here. We're changing, we're changing our map region in our use effect here to the current location of the user because we're getting this location from our use context and then we're setting it to this variable, the not location, but this variable, a map region. So that's for our first and our next one, we're going to take the list that we are passing from a directions page, this list, and then we're going to iterate through it and get the first item of that list, which is going to be this places list. So we're going to map the list and we're going to get all the items. Since we have one, we're just going to have one one marker which is going to be for the restaurant so we need to create this place marker okay so this place marker is just a component inside of our components it's taking in coordinates as a prop and we're just wrapping a marker inside so when we receive the data we're going to use that data to access the title. Okay. This title is the one that we want to give this marker. So let's take, for example, if we click the name of the restaurant is going to be the title. And then the coordinates of this marker is going to be the coordinates of the restaurant. Okay. So we just need to access this variable and get the latitude and the longitude. And here, we're just going to export the the place so everything else remains the same okay, so let's close this so that's going to be for our places and right at the bottom we need polylines okay we need to display these lines so to display these lines we're just going to use the coordinates these coordinates are the coordinates that we we've set to this state variable okay so we need to have polylines first polylines takes in coordinates so we need to put the array of our coordinates and to have these lines we're going to require this stroke color okay so this green color that's our primary color and stroke width is the size okay so let's take for example we change this size to seven our line is going to be a little bit thicker if we make it small then our line is going to be a little bit smaller so let's go ahead work with five so that's all that we need to do for our map so we're done with our map next we're going to be focusing on our menu as well as our our recommendations <laughs>